So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the in channel. In one kilometer, Oops. exit right D2, Skyway so, so as you get here, As you can actually hear, we're in transit to a place called Tagaytay City. It's about an hour and a half from Metro Manila. And we're on our way to an engagement shoot, which I will give you guys um, basically a behind the scenes view or an instructional video while I am shooting. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, now is the perfect time to actually subscribe to that so that the moment I upload that video, you guys get notified. However, we have about an hour and a half to kill the transit going there. And we have a brand new assistant with us that kept on asking questions while we were driving. So we decided, might as well record this video so that we can share all the answers to the world. Okay, so let's try something new. This is a new format again. For you guys who are new to the channel, it might not be new, but for you guys who have been subscribed to the channel and, been watch and have been watching the videos, this is something very new I'm experimenting and let me know what you guys think about this new Next format that I am doing. But again, station. don't forget, I am not gonna remove the instructional videos that I do with my wife Coco because those are the things that I really do love doing. Okay? Okay, so Adrian, question number one. He's a good camera shy, he's not even in the camera. Well, Mark, Mark is, a, is an old assistant, not necessarily old, but Mark's been assisting me for quite some time. And I'm sure he has some questions also, so feel free to chime in, Mark, if you want. Go ahead, Adrian, you've been asking questions since earlier, so might as well do it now on cam. <laughs> you can say it in Tagalog, I'll just translate it in English. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Uh, pag may client kayo, uh, tulad nito, may uh, engagement shoot, uh, saan po kayo kumukuha ng ideas ng mga concept? Ah, oh, okay. So, basically, what Adrian is asking is, where do we get the ideas for a concept shoot? It's basically, do, does the client dictate it or is it a collaboration from, from the stylist, the makeup artist, and everyone else involved? Well, it depends. There are some engagement shoots that we do that we really do have stylists, makeup artists, and designers. And obviously that we have to collaborate in terms of the concept. With this particular shoot though, the one we're, we're gonna be doing now, we just discussed location. So in terms of concept, I don't even know what they're gonna be wearing, which is really a bad thing because honestly, you should be asking for pictures of what they will be wearing. So I don't know why I didn't do it today, to be honest. Um, maybe because I trust them, because I know I've seen the couple and I know how they dress up. So hopefully they do dress up well, which I'm sure they will. But it's always best actually to be prepared. But right now I didn't do that. So that's a mistake on my part. But always be prepared, always ask for clothes that we're gonna be wearing. And to be honest, let's put it this way, huh? Um, engagement shoots, you're talking about concepts. The issue that I have with concepts with engagement shoots, well, it's not necessarily an issue, but something that you have to always remember when you're shooting an engagement shoot is that it always has to match the personality of the couple. The worst thing that you can do is go with the trend and do something so out of the box that your couple will cringe 20, 30 years from now when they see these pictures. They have to remember that these pictures are supposed to, um, it's supposed to, well, it's supposed to be timeless. It's supposed to capture a memory or a time in their life, right? And that's what I always tell them, that this engagement shoot is basically just a practice session for the actual wedding. Because it's very important for me, especially if it's the first time they're gonna be shot professionally is that they get comfortable in front of the camera because not a lot of couples are comfortable in front of the camera. Now, the, this one, I, I use it for us to find out the proper angles, for me to teach the proper angles to the couple, for them to get used to having a camera right in front of them. So it's not really about the concepts of the engagement shoot, but rather it is about the experience of being shot. So the concepts can follow, especially if the couple really, they're really very out there, that, that's really their personality. But a lot of people get, um, get afraid of engagement shoots because of that, because they think they have to conceptualize and do things so out of the ordinary or out of character, which I always say, you don't really have to. 
I this is the well for styling purposes okay for styling purposes I just tell them pretend you're gonna go out on a date or pretend that you're gonna go out it's just a level up or two levels up of what you would normally wear so that they are still comfortable in their own skin because you make if you make them wear something that they're not really comfortable using then it will show in the images okay all right oh, next question how do you handle the couple are not comfortable in in front of the camera oh when they're when you say they're uncomfortable or very stiff in front yes of the yes sir okay that is well the first thing is that you have to have confidence in you as a photographer that you know that you can actually make them look good because that is something that is very very important if a couple is stiff in front of the camera let's say first individually more often than not, before I shoot them as a couple, I shoot them individually to get them comfortable in front of the camera. And the most essential thing is that you take one shot immediately that makes them look good. You make them do really awkward poses. Not really awkward poses, like for example, you tell them extend your neck and then chin down. It feels really awkward, but then they will see that you're actually elongating the neck and making them look slimmer when you show them the picture. So you have, for, you have to trust your skill first that you are able to get good pictures right out of the bat. That's why I always say, reserve your best shot to be your first. Because the moment that you get that one good shot and you show it to the couple, or you show it to that individual and they say, wow, I look fantastic, then immediately they will be comfortable in front of the camera. Afterwards, you can start teasing them already. Hey, you know what? You gotta loosen up and you, you have to bring the energy also while you're shooting. And individually, they, it is easier for them to soften up. Then afterwards, you have to work on them as a couple because together they may think they're sweet, but nine out of 10 couples that I've shot think they're sweet, but they're not really sweet. There's one that's really absolutely sweet and so comfortable in their own skin that it's very easy for them to be together. But when they're together already as a couple, you'd see there's a bit of distance because they will get conscious that the camera is there and not really bring out the intimacy that they have. So that's one thing that you need to be able to bring out by actually showing them. Let's say, for example, you take a shot, you say closer, 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 close enough that you get, you get um, I think the term in Tagalog is dueling, but it's cross-eyed. So close enough, your faces should be close enough that they get cross-eyed ready that's when they are close enough and they won't believe you so basically you take one shot of them at the way they think they're close enough and then you show them the picture and say look look how, how far you guys are from each other and then you guys start laughing and they say oh close enough until you get cross-eyed or guys you're getting married show some intimacy be sweet with each other unless you're not naturally sweet you so you start making jokes like that and eventually they will get comfortable in front of the camera and it's easier for you for, for you then to shoot them which now brings me back again to that reason on why we're doing engagement shoots like this because this is the time that that we get to do that we get to make them feel comfortable in front of the camera instead of actually doing it on the wedding day which you can't really repeat with engagement shoots if you don't like the shot you can just say okay scrap that let's do another layout or let's repeat that layout we have more time during engagement shoots that is why these types of shoots are very important basically this is what happens inside a car every time we're traveling we have conversations Watch about photography yeah. sorry about that we usually have conversations about photography and i hope you, you guys are enjoying being a part of this one even though it is quite long so I'll limit it now to the last question. I think Mark has one final question. Go ahead, Mark. So how you how you, do you deal uh, in... Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No. Go ahead, go ahead. How do you deal with the couple? Uh, a plus size couple or a, a bride? Most likely the bride. Okay. The plus size. All right. First things first. I never consider anyone plus size. You know, see, that's the problem. It's like, exit you see, I'm right oh, sorry, ways, ways of setting us to do something, but we're almost there. I never look at the couple as plus size because immediately if you're doing that, you're already saying that there's something wrong with the subject that you're shooting. When in reality, it's, that's who, she, who they are, who she is, who, who he is. It's just a matter of really bringing 
the best out of them. Of course, there are some couples who are very conscious about their weight. That's why it's essential that you as a photographer will always make them feel comfortable and say, no, don't worry, I don't think you're fat, which in reality you should believe. I don't, I don't believe that you're big, but don't worry if you're conscious about, what are you conscious about, your arms? Okay, then let's hide your arms. So it's about communication and making them feel as if there's nothing wrong, which in reality, there is really nothing wrong with them, whether they're thin or fat or plus size or, or I don't know. It's just, it's, just a, it's just the way you're supposed to approach a shoot. You approach a shoot saying to yourself, I'm going to make everyone look good with whoever or whatever she is or he is, it is always about making them look good. So, and it starts again by thinking that they ne they're never fat, they're never big, they're never plus size. Because the moment you think that they're plus size, it, it, meters, it meets that it's an imperfection. The first exit to CALAX sorry, West. It's an imperfection that you want to remove when in reality, it's not. Sometimes I would actually enhance it. There, there are some plus size subjects that I've shot who embrace it and I love it when they embrace it because they have so much confidence which is basically what you want to instill in all your subjects whenever you're shooting them no matter what if they are not a professional model they will have insecurities professional models have insecurities too but when you're shooting a, an ordinary person that's that's use the term ordinary here when you're using a common we're shooting a common folk they will always have insecurities, whether it be their weight or whether it be their skin, their angles or or anything. They will always have an insecurity. So the way to be able to really overcome that is to make them feel confident. And how do you make them feel confident? By always complimenting. Never really seeing things as a bad thing, but rather even using it to your advantage. Okay? So um we're almost there and i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget subscribe to the channel so that you get notified the moment we upload the video that we're doing now in terms of the engagement shoot and if you want to learn more about lighting feel free to go through all the videos that i've already uploaded in the channel now if you want to follow me on instagram it's at jiggy alejandrino and basically that's it till the next video